What up guys? Xavier back again with another video. And as you can see the two games that I was holding, then you read the title of my video. Like I said last night in my last rant that I was going to do a rant celebrating 15 years and 10 years of this game. And here we are. Today's been 15 years on Veterans Day. By the way, I want to say happy Veterans Day and thank you to all the men and women who served in our country, in the Army, Navy, whatever. Happy Veterans Day. Today we celebrate 15 years of crash nitro carts and 10 years of a face breaker so which game should I start talking about first I think I'm gonna start with crash nitro car because that came out five years before face breaker veterans day November 11th 2003 crash nitro cart was released for the PS2 Xbox and GameCube This was the indirect sequel to Crash Team Racing, like I mentioned in my honorable mentions of my top 20 favorite four player multiplayer games. And this game plays exactly like Crash Team Racing, but it plays a little bit slower than Crash Team Racing. That's why I prefer Crash Team Racing over Crash Nitro Kart. And it pretty much has some characters from Crash T Racing, such as Crash, Coco, Cortex, Engine, Entropy, Tiny Tiger, Dingo Dow, Pura, and Polar. Oh, Nitrous Oxide, who was the boss in Crash Team Racing, is a playable character in this game. Also, Crunch Bandicoot, the older brother of Crash and Coco is in this game as a playable character. You may know Crunch Bandicoot who was a villain in Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex but he turns on Cortex and joins Crash and Coco's side and then he became a member of the Bandicoot family. Let me see what other characters are in Crash Team Race. We also have Anne Trance, an egg-shaped master of hypnotism, who is out for revenge. He's even kidnapped Dingle Dial and Polar and brainwashed them so that they'll race for him. He'll try to get in the way at every turn of the track, so watch out. Yeah, that's one of the new characters in Crash Nitro Kart, as well as Velo who was the boss in Crash Nitro Kart. Looking back on Crash Nitro Kart 15 years later, I'm surprised that they actually released it 15 years ago on Veterans Day. And to me, this is actually a great game, even though I prefer Crash Team Racing over this. And yes, this game plays up to four players and you can use a PS2 multi-tap in order to play with four players. I pretty much got all the characters unlocked in this game except for Antropy. I guess you have to play Time Trial with all the characters in, in order to unlock Antropy. But other than that, I like Crash Nacho Card. It's actually a good game, no doubt about it. I can't wait to play this game as soon as I'm done with this rant. Celebrating 15 years of it. And I can't believe it was actually released on Veterans Day back in 2003. I believe I ordered this game five years ago to celebrate its 10th anniversary. Now the game is 15. This is 
was pretty much the last Crash Bandicoot game that I bought. But I do want to play Wrath of Cortex and Twin Sanity because I heard those games are pretty good. And I still want to play that Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the PS4 whenever I get a PS4. So, that's all I got to say about Crash Nitro Kart. I can't believe it's now 15. I believe the next game that's going to be 15 years old that I will do a rant on next Saturday is Mario Kart Double Dash. That's another game I forgot to mention in my rant about 15 years of Tony Hawk's Underground. Mario Kart Double Dash will also be 15 this year. So that's Crash Nitro Kart. Now we get on to the next game that was released on this day 10 years ago. Face Breaker. This game is also for the Xbox 360. This was released November 11, 2008 on Veterans Day. I was in my last year in high school when this game was released. I didn't get this game when it first came out because back then I didn't have a PS3 until 2016. So I decided to order this game 10 years later. Yeah, it's pretty much a boxing game. And the only character that I stay as is Spin with the headphones. So, looking back on this game 10 years later, Face Breaker. This is actually my first time playing this, and it's actually a good game. But I still can't get past the first part of the story mode. Even in the easy difficulty, I still can't get past the first part of the story mode. It's kind of hard to beat Steve in the first part of the story mode. But other than that, I actually like Face Breaker. It's actually a good game. If you haven't played it, I will highly recommend it to you. But it's kind of hard to break your opponent's face. Especially when they be blocking your punches. Or pushing you in the corner of the ring. Which makes it difficult to try to punch them and then try to break their face afterwards but other than that face breaker is a good game even though I prefer fight night 2004 over this and there's another fight night game for the PS3 that I prefer over face breaker so there you have it 10 years of face breaker So, that wraps up my rant celebrating 15 years of Crash Nitro Kart and 10 years of Facebreaker, both released on Veterans Day back in 2003 and 2008. So, if you played Crash Nitro Kart and Facebreaker, let me know what you think about these games in the comments below. I can't believe that it's been 15 and 10 years since they were both released on Veterans Day. I was in the seventh grade when Crash Nitro Kart was released. And I was in my senior year in high school when this game was released. So let me know what you guys think about Crash Nitro Kart and Face Breaker. What do you like about these games? How do you feel about them turning 15 and 10 years old today? Like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, click on the notification bell for any video that I upload, and I will catch you on the next one. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Happy 15th anniversary, Crash Nitro Kart. Happy 10th anniversary, Facebreaker.